bring in Henrik Fisker, founder and CEO of Fisker. Uh, we heard about the smaller than expected loss. We reported it when it came out, Henrik. Uh, but I think a lot of people are asking questions right now about your guidance in terms of vehicle production. You have cut it again down to a range of 20 to 23,000. Well, what's the issue here and why are you cutting production guidance again? Well, I think you have to look at you know, look, everybody's looking at production guidance for a year. And I think you sh we have to forget that because we did, we, we only have half a year of production this year. We started delivering cars a very, you know, a couple of months ago. So now we're at mid year. And I think what's really important here is that we get to our goal of 300 cars a day, which is 6,000 cars a month. And we will reach that within the next couple of months. Um, so look, we, we got a late start. We have now produced about 2000 vehicles. We have got handed over about 850 vehicles that are on the way to customers. So I think we really now are on the right way. Um, we, we had some hiccups in the beginning. We've got a supplier in Europe that went bankrupt a couple of months ago. We had to figure that out. And now we're really just down to one supplier that we need to get back up to speed. Uh, but apart from that, I think we're really on the roll now. Henrik, you ended Q1 with approximately 70,000 reservations. You're not giving guidance on reservations right now or an update on where they are right now. Where do they stand? And, and is there an issue with converting reservations into actual deliveries? No, really not. We just keep on delivering. Uh, I mean, we didn't go in with 70,000. I just want to correct that. I think we said 65, 62 to 65,000. 70,000 was including the pair. And I think we are well over 70,000 now. Uh, what we have seen is um, that basically some people are saying, well, I just you know got off my lease and I still have to wait a year to get out my car. So I think that might be a certain issue uh, in, the, in the U.S. We actually seen reservations going up in Europe. So I think that's converting has really not been a problem. Uh, we are delivering vehicles. People are taking their vehicles. They love their vehicles. So that's actually been quite good. Henrik, last night you guys showed uh, a, a sneak peek, if you will, of your future lineup of vehicles, including the Alaska, which will be an electric pickup truck. I have to be honest with you. I mentioned this to a friend as soon as I saw the uh, pictures, and the friend said, another electric pickup truck? Does Fisker really think that there is going to be a market there? Uh, how do you answer that criticism or concern that is out there? Well, I think you must have forgot to mention the price, Phil, <laughs> because, you know, this wasn't another eighty to to $100,000 pickup truck. It's uh, with incentive $37,900. There's not even a single electric pickup truck in that market. I think it's the hottest market right now in North America. And we already got 1,000 orders on this vehicle uh, just from last night. So I think this is going to be a huge success uh, to bring out uh, a pickup truck that is fun to drive, uh, that has a versatile bed. It goes from four and a half foot to seven and a half to 9.6 feet. So I think this is a standalone, absolutely amazing vehicle. And, and the feedback was astonishing. So I think there's room for something more sporty, something more affordable uh, in, in the electric pickup segment. But, you know, yeah, it's if you made another $100,000 pickup truck, not needed, but this is around $40,000. So definitely a lot of potential for this vehicle. Henrik, real quick, because we're running up against the jobs report, which is coming out shortly. Uh, how much pressure are you feeling to cut prices on the ocean even further? Uh, I know you haven't cut them, but feeling pressure to cut prices on the ocean, given what you're seeing with Tesla and concerns about EV pricing overall? Well, really nothing, because we came out with very good pricing in 2020. You know, it starts at 37500 up to 68000 And so far, we, we haven't felt any pressure on that. I mean, if you look at the truth is that the car makers that, you know, they raised the prices in 2021, 22, and now they really just put them down to where they were in 2020. And, you know, we really never raised the price in 21, 22 because we weren't selling cars. So I think everybody is down to the same level now. I still think we have an amazing competitive uh, electric SUV. We got the longest range in the world of any SUV of 360 miles. We got at least four features. Nobody else have California mode, et cetera. Sure. So we don't feel any pressure like that. We have seen people just being amazing how ama you know how this car drives, uh, the road holding, the features. So everything actually is, is looking really good, but we don't see any pressure on lowering prices. In fact, I just want Henry to mention- Henrik Fisker, the- 
I just don't go, go, and, Henrik, we're running up again then. Make it quick. Yeah. 18.5% profit margin on the first cars. You forgot about that one. True. That's with the uh, the uh, first uh, impression or first uh, early deliveries. Um, but uh, we will see as the rest of this year shakes out. Uh, Henrik, thank you for joining us this morning. Henrik Fisker, founder and CEO of Fisker, uh, as they report a smaller than expected loss for the second quarter.